is our, our fully automatic thermostat. <laughs> automatic as long as I remember to turn it up and turn it down. That's not too automatic. Do you turn it down when you leave in the morning? Uh, usually we're so rushed that we forget, so we yeah. leave it on all day. All right. So that can be improved, I know. Let's see what it connects to down in the basement. So Richard, it's right over here. All right, so what have you got? A gas-fired heating boiler. All right, so there's a wire that comes down. This is connected to the thermostat, it looks like. Okay. You know, a thermostat's nothing but a light switch. Opens and closes based on temperature. So when it says, I need heat, it closes the signal, comes down to here, and then it brings on a gas burner down here underneath the boiler, heats up water inside of this cast iron boiler, and then a circulator pump sends water through this pipe out to all the radiators, giving up the heat to the building, comes back cooler right here and circulates around. Now that burner is going to stay on until either the thermostat is satisfied or the boiler reaches 180 or 200 degrees. Okay. That's hot. It's also going to waste a lot of energy if you are not here. We've got to find a simpler, smarter way to control this thing. Peter, any thermostat is going to save you money if you actually turn it down when you're not here. Okay. Now you didn't. A lot of people are like yeah. you. The standard thermostat in this country was always this, the round thermostat, turn it up, turn it down. Mm -hmm. This is no different than yours, yours just happens to be rectangular. Okay. So the next step was always a clock thermostat. Clock thermostats was an attempt to be able to have time programs, different ones per day, different on the weekend, so you could be occupied or unoccupied. Mm -hmm. Ironically, 50% of the thermostats that are clock thermostats on the wall are unprogrammed, oh, they wow. flash at midnight. So it's really no different between this and that when you don't program them. And look at this. Many people found these buttons to be confusing, and they just ended up just not doing it. Mm -hmm. So when the internet came in, this was the next thing. An internet-based thermostat mounts on the wall, but it could talk to a smartphone. You know, you'd load an app in, and now you could remotely see and do what you wanted to do with a clock thermostat. Much easier to program it that way. Okay. But it also had an override. So you could hit the override. You're at the office. You say, I'm on my way home. I'm going to move the building up or down. But think about the functions of the smartphone that we're not using, GPS and f always communicating with the internet. With this thermostat, it uses the GPS in here so that the last person that leaves this building, it'll communicate back and say, we're gone, oh, wow. and move the building to a lower temperature okay. setting. And it also does the opposite. As you get back close to the building and you can set it, it says, I'm on my way home, so it's fully automatic. Oh, wow. Is that the one you like? That sounds perfect. All right, good. All right, let's start by getting the old thermostat off. It has a cover. I just pry it off. Just grab that. Three screws in this top plate. You can actually see now the mercury bulb. Oh, yeah. So we've got to be careful how we dispose of this old thermostat. That mercury is dangerous stuff. OK. All right, good. So now you can see the two wires, because it's a simple on-off for that boiler. Okay. Red and white right here, and those things look like they were here in 1933. Probably. So a couple of screws to hold them into place. One. Two. And let's get the old base plate off right here. There's the other screw. I'll give you that. Okay. And now we just have this one last wire right there. Good. Let's get the new thermostat. So here's our new base plate, and it's a little bit small considering these holes right here, but they do provide this optional wall cover right here. Okay. That'll be better, I think, don't you? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So now that goes here. Now I've turned off the power, that's really important. And now I need to get these two wires through this small opening. And I love seeing this little collar here because now any temperature inside the wall doesn't come out and fool the thermostat oh. you're actually sensing out here. Okay. That's a nice thing. So now we can actually use this bottom hole. And you see there's a little level right here. Once we get the bottom secured, we'll level it and then we'll drill the top and it'll be perfect. Okay, good. Okay, so now, the wiring of your thermostat could not be easier. It's a basic heating system on-off, so it has a red and a white. Okay. So now you can see right here, it's clearly labeled. There's R for red, there's W for white. Mm -hmm. But if you had a furnace with air conditioning that could have five, six, or seven wires, they're all clearly labeled right here on the base plate, and the app that helps you control it actually helps you get it wired right. Oh, okay. okay. Pretty simple. So to wire this is pretty straightforward. I'm going to get this W right here and put it into this hole right here, and then I just depress, make that connection tight. There's one, 
and the red is the same on the other side. Stick it right into there, and I just push this down to make it get captive. All right, and that is why. Just give me the thermostat. Yeah, right. here you go. Thank you. So now we just put it straight on and seat it. Good. So now we just have to configure it. All right, we got it all configured. So now you can see with the tablet how it communicates. It's a hot summer day, so it's 81 in right. here. But say it was in the winter. I could actually turn that temperature up. And the great thing is if this thing leaves the building, it knows automatically it turns that thing nice and cool.